Let's take the coat. Let's take the gold out of this Kodak gold box, and then we're going to load a couple cameras with it, and then we're going to take a look at some sample photos to show you what you can expect from this film. First thing we're going to do is open the box and tear off this tab. If your camera has a memo holder like this one does, you can slide the tab into that memo holder so you remember what kind of film you have in your camera. Next, we're going to take the film out of the box and out of this little cassette holder here, and this is your roll of 35 millimeter film. If your camera has an automatic advanced system built into it, all you have to do to load the film is drop it into the cassette chamber and take the leader out until you reach the orange index over here. Close the back of your camera and it will automatically advance. Some cameras like this have silver pins in here. Those read the DX code off of this cassette so that the camera knows what speed film is loaded. If your camera does not have pins like that one did not, remember to set the film speed on your camera. ASA, which is how your camera is probably going to be marked, is the same thing as ISO. To load your film into a camera with a manual advance winder like this one has, simply open the back, drop the cassette into the cassette chamber, and push the forks back into place. Pull out a leader, feed it into the take-up spool, and now hold your finger over the sprockets here and take your first advance like that. Now you can close the back of your camera. Advance your film until you reach the first frame and remember to set your ASA or ISO dial to the speed of this film which is 200 and now here are five photos taken with Kodak Gold so that you can see what to expect from this film.